As a matter of fact, can I just get you to say your rank, name, your billet, and your squad? Sure. Major Jasmine Mugbelli. I'm currently the Quality Assurance Officer and Avionics Officer with BMX1 in Yuma, Arizona. So what made you want to apply to NASA? So I think there are a, a, a lot of things. NASA is an amazing organization that has achieved the impossible time and time again, I think throughout my life and before my life. You know, one of the most uh, notable examples of it, of course, being putting man on the moon, but even since then, we've had the International Space Station manned since 2000. Um, and the experiments that they've done there, helping us not just for future space exploration, but also helping us back here on Earth, as well as the unmanned missions they've done, you know, like New Horizons, looking at Jupiter, and then uh, recently at Pluto. So I think I've always liked a challenge, and the fact that NASA is a group that comes together, it's taken so much teamwork to achieve what they've done, and being a part of that and furthering space exploration um, is really exciting to me. So, uh, I know it's a real rigorous waiting process, but uh, what feelings arose during the application process? So some of the feelings that arose during the application process, I think, uh, one, I was very humbled throughout it. Uh, I met amazing people, not just those that currently work at NASA, the astronauts, uh, the engineers, the medical staff, everyone there was amazing and very passionate about what they did, but also my fellow applicants uh, were incredible. Um, you know, I, le I left that, the application process and the interviews going, I want this job even more now, but I can't be upset if I don't get it because there are so many amazing people uh, vying for this position. So what was your initial reaction when you received the news on, of your acceptance? So my initial reaction, honestly, my hands were, my hands were shaking. The first thing I did was, you know, f fumble my hands together enough to, to call my parents and if it, if it says anything about the excitement that both, both I had and my family had, my parents were at a pizza place when I called them and my mom later told me that my dad was crying so much that he couldn't even drive home afterwards. So it, it's hard to explain, but, but it, this is something I've wanted since I was a kid and it was just so exciting and overwhelming. So how do you feel and where do you wish to go from there now that you've got your childhood dreams started? Yeah, so I think, um, you know, how I feel about achieving my childhood goal is something that's, it's really hard to put in words, right? I think that's like asking someone who's, who's wanted to play football since they were a kid, like that won the Super Bowl, how does it feel? You know, if I could quantify how incredible it feels to have achieved something that, you know, I've, I've worked towards this my whole life and so many people have contributed to it and it's meant so much to me and having that come true, it, is just incredible, but I think those physical reactions of the handshaking and that kind of stuff really, really kind of helps quantify how much it meant to me. So how do you feel that the Marine Corps has helped you become a NASA student? Yeah, the Marine Corps, I, I could not possibly tell you how much the Marine Corps has helped me get here. Um, from the most basic of things to, you know, I used to be terrified of public speaking, and here I am, you know, speaking in front of a large group of groups of people speaking in public um, because as a Cobra pod, I had to brief over and over and over again. Um, the teamwork aspect of it I think was huge and was a large part of you know, getting me this job. During the interview process, uh, teamwork and cooperate, co cooperation were a large part of what they were looking for. And Again, what greater organization than the Marine Corps to teach you about camaraderie, teamwork, and the crew concept. My flight training absolutely directly correlates over um, easily. You know, we'll be training with the T-38s. I think it, uh, the crew resource, crew resource management aspect of it ties in directly to the work we'll be doing on the actual um, different uh, space vehicles. Being in confined spaces, deploying for long periods of time, all those things tie back in and, and directly have helped me uh, get here. And, and, I, and I know they'll help me in the future in my two years of training. What place do you wish most to go? If you had to choose, if, you, if they asked you, man, what mission do you want to go on? Where, where would you choose? I can genuinely say 
anything in space. I mean, I am, again, I'm still at the point where I'm uh, a little bit in shock that, that I've just been offered this uh, position as an astronaut candidate. So if they assign me to any mission, I will gladly jump up and take it. I think all of them contribute to uh, the future of what we're doing in space exploration and also in helping look back towards Earth and, hey, how do we preserve this planet that, we're, that we call home? Are you ready to take on actual rocket science? Are you, are you excited for it? Are you a little bit nervous, intimidated? I think I'm extremely excited. You know, we've got two years of training coming up, um, myself and my classmates. Uh, like I said, I think the Marine Corps has helped me prepare for it. My background in aerospace engineering has helped me prepare for it. Uh, all, the, all the sports teams I've played on have helped me prepare for it. So I'm absolutely ready for the challenge. And um, I think, again, with me and my uh, fellow classmates together, we'll be able to work through it. Do you have any parting words for the Marine Corps? Anything that you would just like to get, get off your chest before you go into this brand new organization? Well, I'll, I'll say this. Um, you know, I'm still a United States Marine. It's a title I'm very proud of. Uh, as every single U United States Marine should be. Uh, it's not an easy, an easy title to earn. And that being said, I'm just going on to a different mission. And I think it's something that's very important for our nation. And, uh, and if the Marine Corps didn't want me to do it and it wasn't an important mission for them, they, they wouldn't be giving me orders to, to go to NASA. So um, I, I'm excited to join them. And I will say this, I'm going to miss flying the Cobra. So to, to the skid kids out there, hopefully you guys can give me a flight every now and then. <laughs>